Uh, I'm Jordi, I'm the Head of Strategy and Innovation. Jose Maria is the founder and the Head of Creativity of this very weird and strange creativity agency or, uh, or a studio. Uh, I don't know how to call it. Uh, I will explain why and, and how. Uh, we were born here in Barcelona five years ago. In fact, we are five minutes from here, very, very close. And, and we, we, we like to call ourselves the, the, activism, the creative activism company. So we use creativity, uh, we want to be activists, and you will see um, how. Um, you all see some, some weeks ago, in, in fact, in two presentations before our presentation, we saw, you saw the, the cover from Financial Times some weeks ago, saying in time for a reset. So it was a, a big cover, a, a terrific cover from Financial Times, all yellow with black letters, telling or calling for a, for a big change in the, in the capitalism system, uh, putting a, pur a purpose, social purpose beyond uh, profits. This is just the thing that we are trying to do with our small agency. So use a purpose uh, beyond just profits. We help our clients, we help big brands in, in Barcelona, but also in the rest of the world. In fact, we are now in, in uh, Sao Paulo, in Mexico, um, in Colombia, and we're about to, to open offices in Madrid and, and in New York uh, next year. So we help our clients to make profits, yes, but we also want to make a positive impact to people, society, and the world using creativity. Our core is using creativity, but in a, in a, different, in a different manner, because creativity has had always the power to change things, to move people, to make me feel, to transmit emotions. Um, creativity has had the power to, um, to inspire people and society, but also has been a call to action. And we, and we know we now want to use creativity to change things helping brands and businesses, but also to change the way that we are using, uh, doing business, so helping the world to be a little, more, a little more better. And we want to use it, and if we want to use it with creativity, creativity has to be different. We don't have to do the same creativity as before. We have to change the way that we do creativity. That's we, Jose Maria, founded the La Casa de Carlota and Friends, this very weird uh, creativity team that we think is changing the way that creativity is done and is changing the way that brands can, can do business. Why? Because we have a, a very strange and weird, but at the same time magic triangle in our creative team, in our team uh, in La Casa de Carlota. We have our own um, transformative project inside our home. We use professionals, we use students, very young people, but we use neurodiversity. We use Down syndrome, we use autism, we use schizophrenia, not because we are a charity company, we, because we are, not because we want to be good guys and say, hey, we're using Down syndrome here in our home. No, because they have different skills that I have, they have different brains that I have, and we need those, those brains, we need those creativity, because in combination with the students and with professionals, the results are terrific and you will see the results now of that combination of this uh, magic uh, triangle. And I hand over to Jose Maria, who will explain you the complexity, but also the beauty of our project and, and job. Oops. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you for your support. Um, and don't worry if you don't understand very well my English, because uh, usually I don't understand myself when I speak in English. <laughs> Thank you, Jordi, for your introduction. Uh, <clears throat> I have worked all my life as a creative director in, a, in advertising agencies. My job was to find the best creative talents on the planet. Young people, punkies, Dutch, Argentines. Uh, my mission was looking for ways to generate different and surprising creative ideas for my clients. But one day, uh, so when I was younger, so much younger than today, uh, we discover that there are people who think differently because they are different, because they have born different. And I incorporated in my team 
people with Down syndrome. You understand me, more or less, my English? Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> I was not convinced if that would be a great idea, but it worked. People with Down syndrome gave me a way to see the world differently. I can, I can, see, I can think like a German, I can think uh, like an Argentine uh, for my experience or for my age or for my um, kind of work, but like a Down, like a people with Down syndrome uh, ever. I can, because I am not a Down syndrome. We come up and we tried the same with people with autism and discovered that they gave us a new different ways of thinking, absolutely different of people with Down syndrome, but absolutely interesting. After six years of making a lot of mistakes and developing a work process with this special team, we have a professional design studio formed by, by this triangle, people with, that, people with uh, uh, Down and autism, professionals um, and students. We think it's exactly the people for tomorrow, and I think that's not tomorrow, it's people for today, because they are working with us six years ago. The K, the K, as Ken Robinson explained in his TED conference, is something as simple as creativity com comes up when different brains uh, interact. I, I recommend you um, to see this kind of uh, TED. In this conference, okay, in this conference I want to explain why and what the people with Down syndrome and autism bring to the rest of the team. Why, why, is the, why they are working with us? <clears throat> Let's go. Kim, this is a picture, a real picture. Um, ten years ago, I, I, if I saw this picture, I say it's impossible that. A, a, what? No, no, it's okay. Um, ten years ago, if I see this picture, I say it's impossible. I can't believe this one. A person with Down syndrome is working with an art director, a professional art director. <clears throat> Kim has Down syndrome. He has not been to the university. He doesn't want, he, he doesn't what, he doesn't, what is advertising? What is a logo? What is a typography? Maybe that's why he works with us. Um, I want to show this one, okay. This is our theory of uh, designers with Down syndrome. People, when we are ch children, we paint things like this. Very ingenuity, absurd, but very authentic. Carlo, okay. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> Carlo um, paint like a person with three years old. As you can see, there is, there is, ah, okay. there is um, very similar um, trazos, 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 in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> but it's very similar, as you can see. <laughs> another, another example <clears throat> of, this is my daughter. She was my daughter when she was third year old and another drum of Kim who, has, who is 25 years old. Wow. Okay. Um, curiously, they are very similar elements in the line, in the forms and the ingenuity. Hold on. Sorry, eh? it's my English. <laughs> okay. Um, there are very similar uh, elements in the line, in the forms, and in the ingenuity of the drawing of both, as you can see. 
My theory is that when we are children, we are creatives, we are basics, ingenuous, spontaneous, fresh creativities. But when we, we, we grow up, uh, we mature, we make a mental evolution, and society, our parents, our teachers, are forcing us to lose our ingenuity, our fresh creativity. But we think that people with Down syndrome mature like everybody, but still have the ingenuity of the children. They never lose the, his fantastic ingenuity. They have the capacity to keep still painting like this. Okay? That's why, okay, now, that's why his way of drawing and creating and thinking is a fundamental inspiration for the rest of the team. This is an example of a professional work for a client like Gallina Blanca. It's a poster um, with a lot of in, in, in interpretation with a participation of um, people with Down syndrome, with all the team. In, in, as you can see in all our projects, there is not only one person working, it's a working in a team. We decide, the professional team decide which is the, the exactly team to work together in some client. Okay, another example. This is for Nestlé, for the... This is an example for the, the um, um, Veritas, ecologic supermarkets. And this is a curious, and uh, this is for... Uh, uh, this is uh, another example for the, the Ayuntamiento of Barcelona um, for a little um, apportation, a little apportation of um, creative traditional and a lot of apportation of Down syndrome creativity. And I want to show this one. Stop. <coughs> we, you, and the professionals are directors of my team normally write with a computer, with perfect typography and ordered compositions. Um, designers with Down syndrome, they don't keep, uh, keep writing like a children. And they write more or less like this. And this is influenced the way that La Casa Carlota professionals, arts directors, make up his, um, their ads. As you can see, the disorder, the, the typography, the, it's not the normal typography, it's not a titular um, photo and text, it's absolutely disorder, obviously influenced by the design or the kind of thing, way of thing of a people with Down syndrome. And <clears throat> here's another example. We can use um, them to design an impossible and special typography. Uh, okay, I left. Okay, um, I think I explained. More, more or less clear how we use the creative of our tal or a talent or a style of a people with Down syndrome. Now, I want to add, oh, no, this is an example very, very interesting. Um, we must to design the trophy of a, competi of a new competition. The name is Liga Genuine. It's a competition for people with, down, with dis disability and um, the Liga the Football Professional, Professional Liga in, here in Spain, says, I need a trophy like this one. This is, okay. champions, it is our result. As you can see, it's a trophy absolutely thinked for a brain of a people with uh, absolutely um, Down syndrome. This is more or less how can we use the, the intelligence or the, the way of 
see the life for people with Down in our team. And I want to explain why, why autism, um, why people with autism work with us. The first thing is their brain and their way of thinking is absolutely different with a Down syndrome, absolutely different. And I prefer to show you in a, and, um, I'm going to show you in an easy way the different ways of thinking of La Casa de Carlota with a work for a bottle of champagne, Kelly Charello. Okay? That's how more or less most designers think letters and fonts download from Google. The talent of the, the, the designer is um, discovered with these typographies how can be different, how can, can be with colors, how combine different sizes. But, but at last, this is the way, this is the, the, the thinking of a normal uh, thinking. That's how designer with Down syndrome do the same. They read manual disorder, absolutely. Um, this is why, I, this is how a people, a person with autism, design the same thing. As you can see. And this is the, resu the, the final result, a designer based on authentic way of thinking. As you can see, we use um, the, more, um, the more different, the, the wow, the, the okay, the, the K of the, 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 our idea prefer is the, the idea of autism. That's the reason, this is the, resu the final result, this is the bottle, this is the packaging. Uh, when th there are parts designed for a people with, down, with autism, the ideas of autism, autism is impossible, they don't work with, with um, personal computer, but obviously the idea is the, the K of this design. They can do um, things like this. I have a little time. Um, I, I want to explain which is this face. This face are the work of Nuria, a girl with autism. I have never seen something like this. The first day she comes, sat on a table alone, isolated from the group and with a rubber stamps. Made in 20 minutes, this fame formed by hundreds and hundreds of letters. The first surprise is that at my focal distance, I cannot see this face. I only see letters. And understand me? Um, she has a special capacity and she can see a face with a focal distance of 20, 20 uh, centimeters. Second surprise. I asked her what he had done and he told me it was his grandmother and she dedicated a poem to her. I asked her, what poem? Why, why a poem? And he, she told me that the face was made with all the letters of a poem by Catalan poet. She's able to see a poem in his face. It's absolutely um, surprise, it's absolutely magia, it's absolutely everything. She works with us. Be before she worked with us, uh, Nuria was at home, doesn't work. With us, has a work. That's very important. And this is Another job of Nuria, it's called Tchaikovsky. In his drawing, I concentrate all the movements of a dancer in a part of the dance of the Lake of the Swans. It's all the movements are there in the same place. It's like we, we put a photo, another photo, another photo, another photo, it's all the movements. She can see the movements separately. Other examples of work in diversity where participate different members of the studio. As you can see, we have a, a Down syndrome and the name is Carlo. Carlo, the speciality of Carlo is um, to, to, it's a speciality in points, sticks, circles, repetitions. And you, if you um, see our work, 
There's a lot of participation in, of Carlo in every work. You can see Carlo speaker, Carlo, Carlo circles, repetition, repetition, repetition. <coughs> more, more things. Uy, uy, uy. We was in the ONU. I hope you, you were interested in, in um, I, I know that you don't believe me. I want to show in three minutes a video with La Casa Carlota working. I think it's better than, than Hermi said to me. I think it's, it's uh, as you can see, how the relations between dance, autism, professionals, Another. Casa Carlota is a professional design company. Our designers are selected for their creative specialties. trabajar a veces pinto a veces hago letras we are living the yellow submarine yellow submarine yellow submarine yo no sé qué es autismo algunas veces gentes me entienden y otras no turnem a b c d e f g h en toda la comunicación en el mundo, lo que acaba diferenciando son los detalles. Y ellos quieren detalles que son todos verdad porque son de ellos. No copien nunca. Joan, por ejemplo, como tipógrafo, cuando hace una tipografía no le podéis influir. Esta tipografía es Joan, es suya y solo suya. Mucha gente interpreta que en la Casa de Carota somos muy majos porque dejamos trabajar a chicos con síndrome de Down y autismo. Pero yo no me siento muy majo. Yo me siento un poco un cabrón, un listo, porque ellos tienen una originalidad que hasta ahora el sector, la comunicación, no había utilizado. ¿Quién te gusta? ¿Quién al no dibujos? Es bonito. Gracias. Eh, tenemos un trabajo hoy, os explico. Hay un briefing muy concreto de un campeonato de tenis. Tenemos que hacer un decorado dentro del campeonato. Pero más surreal. La cabeza puede hacer una ferretera de tenis, por ejemplo. No tenemos subvenciones de ningún tipo por ser un proyecto social y todo el mundo está remunerado y cobra lo que se considera lógico en el mercado profesional. gente que lo que tiene es miedo a equivocarse, pero la creatividad buena ha de estar coqueteando con el riesgo. Así es como veo el futuro de esta industria. Diseño original, gente original. Thank you very much. I, I promise the next time I will speak very well English, a little bit more. 
I hope you were interested in our speech and to close, um, I just wanted to tell you three things that I have learned in, in La Casa de Carlota. First one, it's let's accept diversity as a gift from heaven and appreciate people for their ability and not for their disability. Second one, let's be humble. They, they are always humble. And the last one, let's be happy at work. They are always happy, as you can see. Thank you for your support. And Jordi, I don't know if you want to say anything. No, no. No, I think, I think, it's, I think everything is clear. Just it is how I, how I understand creativity. That's how I understand communication, even marketing. And just try to imagine how we, tr we translate this spirit, the, this, this, this way of working and thinking into big clients and brands like Danone, like Desle, like Unilever that wants to, want to have big brands but also have a positive impact into people and society. And, and that's it. Thank you.